Now let us discuss about design BFA to accept set of all binary strings which are divisible by 5. So that means the language is L is equal to W where W mod 5 equal to 0. We know what is a binary string. It is a combination of zeros and ones. So first let us represent the numbers from 0 to uh, 10 in binary notation. Uh, so here we have three columns. The first column is uh, decimal number. Second column is uh, binary number. Third column is reminder. Uh, let the decimal number is 0. So how we can represent 0 in binary notation? We can use either single 0 or double 0 or triple 0 also. Here I am using triple 0. Why? Because I want to represent the numbers like uh, 4, 5, 6, 7. In order to represent 4, 5, 6, 7, we must require 4 bits. Uh, let us use here, we are using 4 to 1 notation. Next, how we can represent 1? So 1 means 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 1. Next to 2 means 0, 1, 0. Here for representing 1, we can use either 2 bits or 3 bits. If we use 2 bits, then we can use as 0, 1. For representing 2, we can represent like... Uh, 1 0 okay next we can represent 3 like 0 1 1 next to 4 what is 4 1 double 0 so 5 1 0 1 6 double 1 0 7 triple 1 okay here in order to represent 0 1 2 3 we may require either 2 bits or 3 bits so if we use 2 bits then we can write 1 as 0 1 we can write 2 as 1 0 3 as 1 1. Next let us represent, uh, uh, let us see what are the reminders here. Here we have to divide the number by 5. So if we divide 5 by 0, then what is the mod? If we divide 0 by 5, then what is the modulo here? 0. So 0 modulo 5 means 5 zeros are 0. So 0, 5, 5 zeros are 0. Next 0 minus 0 means 0. Okay. So 0 is the remainder. Next 5 modulo 1. 1 modulo 5. So 1 modulo 5 means 1. 1 is the result. Next to 2 modulo 5 means 2 is the result. Next to 3 is the result. Next to 4 modulo 5 means 4 is the result. Next 5 modulo 5. What is the result of 5 modulo 5? So 5, 5, 5 ones are 5, 0. So 0. So 0. Next to 1. Next to 2. How we can represent 8? In order to represent 8, we must require 4 bits. So 1, 3, 0, 8 modulo 5 means, uh, 8 modulo 5 means what is the result? 3 is the result. Next 9, how we can represent 9? 1 double 0, what is the result? After 3. So 9, 9 modulo, five, 9 modulo 5 means, what is the result? 9 modulo 5. So 5 ones are 5, 4. So 4 is the result. Let us have 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So what is the result? 0 is the result. Okay. Here, if we observe here, what are the reminders here? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have uh, 5 reminders. So we must require 5 states now. The states are Q0, Q0 for accessing reminder 0 binary numbers. What are reminder 0 binary numbers? 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, likewise. Okay. Next, one for uh, Q1 for accessing reminder 1 binary numbers. So 1, Next 6, 11, likewise. Okay. Next to 2 for Q2. Next to Q3. Next to Q4. Q4 for accessing reminder 4 by the numbers. Like 4, next 9, likewise. Okay. Next Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5. Likewise, we have to use. Now let us uh, write the language here. Here, what is the language here? Uh, DFA should accept set of all binary strings. Divisible by 5. So divisible by 5 means 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, likewise. How we can represent 0 in binary notation? 3 bull 0. Next, how we can represent 5? 5, 1, 0, 1. Next to 10, 1, 0, 1, 0. Next to 15, all ones. Likewise, we can have n number of strings here. Uh, now for this, we have to design the DFA. So how many states are required here? 5 states. So the initial state is Q0, next, uh, next state is Q1, next uh, Q2, 
Q2, Q3, Q4, Q4. So let us observe zero. So zero. So zero. Zero means any number of zeros. So here, what is the state we need to get? Q naught. So that means here we can write self loop zero. So Q naught and zero means zero only. Q naught and zero means zero only. Q naught and zero means zero only. Okay. Here for zero, for five, for ten, uh, for zero. I am sorry. Here, what is the state here? Q naught is the state. For zero, the state is Q naught. For five, the state is Q naught. For ten, the state is Q naught. So that means if a number is divisible by five, that means if you perform modulo five, if the remainder is zero, then we can say that that is divisible by five. That that is divisible by five. So remainder is zero. So that means it should be accepted by Q naught state only. So Q naught is the final state here. Okay. Why? Because here what is Q naught? It accepts remainder zero binary numbers. So remainder zero binary numbers are all these numbers zero, five, ten, fifteen, likewise. Okay. Now let us focus on one. How we can represent one? Zero zero one. So zero zero means we will be at Q naught only. Next Q naught on one means Q naught on one means we have to go to the state Q one. So Q naught on one means Q one. Okay. Next. Next Q naught on zero means Q naught only. Next Q naught on one means Q one. Next Q one on zero means we have to go to the state Q two. So Q one on zero means Q two. Okay. Next, uh, Q naught on zero means Q naught only. Q naught on one means Q one. Next Q one on one means we have to go to Q three state. So Q one on one means Q three state. Q three state. Next, Q naught on one means Q one state. Q one on zero means Q two state. Next, Q two on zero means Q four state. Q two on zero means Q four state. Okay. Next, Q naught on one means Q one. Next, Q one on zero means Q two. Next, Q two on one means Q naught. Q two on one means Q naught. Q two on one means Q naught. Okay. Next, Q naught on one means Q one. Q one on one means Q one on one. Yeah, Q three. Next, Q three on zero means Q naught. I'm sorry, Q three on zero means Q one. So Q three on zero, Q three on zero means Q one. Okay. Next, let us focus on the seven. Q naught on one means Q one, Q one on one means Q three. Next, Q three on one means Q two, Q three on one means Q two, Q three on one means Q two. Next, let us focus on eight. Q naught on one means Q one. Next to Q one on zero. Q one on zero means Q one on zero means Q two. Next to Q two on zero means Q four. Next to Q four on zero means Q three. Q four on zero means Q three. Okay, Q four on zero means Q three. So this is the transition. Next, let us focus on nine. Q naught on one means Q one. Next to Q one on zero means Q two. Q two on zero means Q four. Next to Q four on one means Q four only, so that means one is the self loop. Okay. Next, let us focus on ten. Q naught on one means Q one. Next to Q one on zero means Q two. Next to Q two on one, Q two on one. Okay, where we have one here. Yeah, Q two on one means Q naught. Q two on one means Q naught. Next to Q naught on zero means Q naught. Yeah, that means this is the transition only. Now let's check whether it is DFA or not. What is DFA? Uh, each state must consume all the symbols present in the alphabet. Here the alphabet contains two symbols, zero and one. So on Q naught, zero is used, one is used. On Q one, uh, this is zero, this is one. Next to on Q two, uh, this is zero, this is one. On Q three, we have zero transition as well as one transition. On Q four, we have zero transition. One transition. Now let's check whether our diagram is correct or not. Yeah, yeah. Here we have uh, a simple logic. Let us write uh, that uh, transition table. Transition table. So if you have any difficulty in understanding this diagram, first you first we can write the transition table, and then according to the transition table we can we can construct the DFA. Okay. 
Here the states are Q0 to Q4. Q0 is the initial state as well as final state. 0, 1. Here the possible states are Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Next to Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. So this is the transition table here. Let's check whether this is correct or not. Let's check whether our diagram is correct or not. Q0 on 0 means Q0. Yes. Next to Q0 on 1 means Q1. Yes. Next to Q1 on 0 means Q2. Q1 on 0 means Q2. Next to Q1 on 1 means Q3. So Q1 on 1 means Q3. Next to Q2 on 0 means Q4. Q2 on 0 means Q4. Q2 on 1 means Q2 on 1 means Q0. Okay. Q2 on 1 means Q0. Yes, correct. Next to Q3 on 0 means Q1. Q3 on 0 means Q1. Next to Q3 on 1 means Q2. Yes, this is also correct. Q4 on 0 means Q3. Q3, Q4 on 1 means Q4. Okay. Yeah, we can uh, draw, the, we can write the transition table very, very easily. From that also, you can uh, uh, design the DFA. Now, let's check whether our diagram is, uh, whether uh, our diagram is correct or not in one more way by checking whether the string is accepted or not. Uh, now, let's take uh, a string called 1010. Let's take, uh, let's take 1010. So, 1010 means 10. So, we know that 10 is divisible by 5. So, 101 is the string. Uh, and the initial uh, state is Q0. So, Q0 on 1 means Q1. Next, Q1 on 0 means Q2. Next, Q2 on 1 means Q2 on 1 means Q0. Next, Q0 on 0 means Q0. So, we got the final state. So, we can say that our string is accepted by final DFA. So, our language will be accepted by DFA. So, this is the DFA to accept set of all binary strings which are divisible by 5.